What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jazbees 8-box Quick Hit Baseball Mixer. Random teens break here, guys, with a chance to win a nice Derek Jeter from 2020 Stadium Club. Captain's Career Autograph, PSA 10 out of 5. And a chance to win a Ted Williams Autograph as well. Now, again, guys, this is a random team break. Everybody gets a random team in the MLB, all-card ship. And then at the end of the break, we'll take all the names, randomize them. Top name gets the Jeter. Next name at number two gets the Ted Williams Autograph. Features three boxes of Fanatics Under Wraps Baseballs, one box of 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire, two boxes of Clearly Authentic 2022, and then a box of 2020 Tier 1 and a box of 21 Tier 1. So, let's do the break first, guys. Let's roll it, and it is a one and a two three times. One, two, and three. Joshua down to Chad. Three times here. One, two, three. Kansas City Royals and the Atlanta Braves. Again, three times here, three times there. So, Joshua, you have the Royals. Nicole with the Rays. Tristan with the Diamondbacks. Mike with the Guardians. Tristan with the Angels. Eugene with the Cubs. Michael with the Dodgers. Tristan with the Mets. Brian Crabb with the Reds. Tristan with the Tigers as well as the Red Sox. Eric with the Astros. Chad. Cromwell with the Orioles. Joe, you have the Cardinals. Chad with the Pirates. Ryan with the Twins. Brian with the Marlins. Joe Cook with the Yankees. Michael with the A's. Brian with the Ty uh, Rangers. Sorry. Eugene with the Brewers. Joe Cook with the Phillies. Jason K with the Giants. Uh, Mark with the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Eric with the Rockies. Jason K with the Mariners. Eugene with the Nationals. Monty with the White Sox. Chad with the Padres. As well as the Atlanta Braves. All right, if anybody wants to make any trades, let me know. Also, too, guys, for the Fanatics Baseballs, just a little FYI. It's very similar rules. Uh, minus, of course, like the Miami Marlins thing. So don't think, of course, that we pull a multi-sign autograph baseball or something like that, that it's going to automatically go to the Marlins. I think that's only a, a box break or, or a Fanatics break in general. Since this is a mixer, I think it's just going to be like the normal current teams active, teams they played for the longest retired. So it's just a little FI.
Um, as long as you got a confirmation receipt, all that good stuff, Tyler, I think you should be fine. Is that the name I look for? I mean, I know sometimes the website could be glitchy, but if you got like your money returned or something like that, then no, probably. But as long as you got confirmation, you should be fine. Okay, so that probably means that you were trying to buy at the same time with somebody else maybe and it just, it, it could have glitched. Um, so if you did get charged, don't worry, you'll, you'll see the charge reflected back to you, especially if it's a credit card, it probably takes a day or two. But uh, as, if you didn't get a confirmation, then most likely you didn't get in. And if I looked at, I just looked up your name, I only see one order for you on this website and it was back in like April of last year. So it looks like probably not. But don't worry about the charge. For some reason you don't see it go away, just just click the support button here on our website and you can let us know about that. But I, I think usually that's happened before with me with Shopify and other, and other places where it might have charged me or PayPal charged me, but then it just never went through. But it'll be pending and then it'll be returned back to you. But yeah, it doesn't look like it, man. Sorry. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave this sheet like this though guys, just because like I said, I got to print out these sheets later tonight, but I'll leave it there for you guys to see. The tray window closed. Alright, so again, these are the two cards here for the mixer. So like I said, someone's going to win this one. This one's out of, uh, I mean, back in the day, I think they wrote, they wrote a lot of these Ted Williams out of 2500 but still valued pretty nicely, of course, because still there's an autograph there of him. And of course, there's a Jeter that will be giving away to somebody there as well. I'm going to do a little differently, guys. I'm going to start off with the baseballs. I mean, the baseballs are fun and all, but I, I kind of want to take my time on the cards. So let's just let's do the baseballs first. And since we kind of a little backed up until like 6, I, I, I'm not going to do cool mine and stuff like that. I just feel like we should get the baseballs out of the way and then focus on pulling some big kits in the, in the, in the boxes. So good luck. And we got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Nice. Nice Vladdy Jr. So that's going to go to the Toronto Blue Jays, which is Mark. Blue Jays. Nice one there. Let's go to the next baseball. Whoa. Whoa, this baseball is stuck. And is that another Jason Dominguez? Just pull him in the, in the filler. Yeah, Jason Dominguez. Very nice. That's uh, Yankees and Joe Cook. Nice one there. We'll be seeing him in the majors maybe, what, next year maybe? Oh, 
last one here, guys. Why is it that whenever we <laughs> collective baseball fans, uh, collective of baseball fans, start seeing the Angels do well, they start being extremely bad? <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like the Angels are clerked, honestly. Nice! That is a Freddie Freeman World Series baseball. So, again, um, like I said, the only thing that wasn't going to matter was the. Um, uh, what do we have? The Marlins thing, I think, wasn't going to matter. But I believe these uh, these baseballs that signify a specific year was still going to go to that team. Let me pull up the thing. The only thing that wasn't going to matter was the Marlins thing because I feel like since we're only doing baseballs, I think since the Marlins checklist was really low, we were giving the, the any and all to them. But since this is an actual break with multiple products, it's a little different. But let me pull it up really quick. What is said over there? Oh no, did I close that? But I believe this is a World Series baseball. So that should be a lot of Braves here, right? When they won the World Series in 2021. One second. It's so hard to find this down filler. There it is. So yeah, baseball goes to the current team active or teams they play for the longest. And then, of course, uh, unless there's an identifying mark inscription that indicates specific team, season, year, etc. So that Freddie Freeman will be going to the Atlanta Braves. So Atlanta Braves with that nice hit right there. Now, if it was just a plain old Freddie Freeman, that goes to the team he's currently on. But that's signi uh, signifying, of course, a specific year. So, Chad Cromwell. There you go. Yeah. I see they called him up today. I mean, he's been, he's been raking. I guess his minor league stats have been pretty good, but he's only played X amount of minor league games, too. I mean, it is, Rex, but I, I think Neto is, is not like a 19-year-old. I, I, I think he went to college. Didn't he? He's 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 not like he's not like a, a nineteen year old kid. I th I think he went to college and he's like twenty two, so I don't think it's that shocking or crazy because it's not like he's nineteen years old. Yeah, but is he considered really a kid when he's twenty two? He probably has a lot more experience than others. Yeah, let me pull him up. I think it said... Yeah, Zach Neto, right? Yeah, born in 2001. He's just turned 22. But yeah, he's been doing well. I mean, at that point, you just, you just feel like he's just going to do better with, with, with top players. And it looked like he had a really, really good spring training, too. But yeah, he was unselected at a high school in 2019. He enrolled at Campbell University to play baseball for Campbell Finding Camels. And yeah, so I mean...
Uh, yeah, I think, if anything, yeah, the, the point is that he's played a lot less, like, minor league games than most. But, I mean, at the same time, I mean, I guess the Angels really think this guy's ready. And maybe they've seen enough already. But, yeah, it's not like he's, like, an 18, 19-year-old kid, though, so I guess it's a little different. Paul Goldschmidt. 250. Grayson Rodriguez to 125. Just just some rookie. What about Jordan Walker, man. Blaez, Nick Abel to 99. Pedro Leon. Key Brian A's rookie. Pedro Pineda first. Baum rookie. A nice Andrew Vaughn to 75. And Cronenworth rookie. Yeah, I haven't paid attention to how well they're doing, but if they're doing well, it's good for baseball. I don't know if people want to see Otani and Trout not make the playoffs again. And you know what happens if they have a horrible season again. I think Otani's gone. Uh, Matthew, it is not sold out yet, to my knowledge, man. I know you bought a spot earlier when it was at one left, but we had two fillers, so... We cancel the second filler and put four full spots back in plus the filler. So still a little ways to go. Oh, it looks like it's a redemption. So if you don't see it on the schedule, that's probably what happens. There's a filler or, you know, we haven't went through orders yet, etc. Tops Tech. Brandon Marsh, Angels Edition. There you go. So that's Angels Edition, Tristan. Who they played today? If they lost nine to seven, that was a damn high-scoring game. Seth Beer. All right, so we have twenty twenty and twenty twenty one tier one guys. Seth Beer's Tristan as well. Nice Jeff Bagwell there for the Houston Astros. That's going to Eric. Trevor Store to 395. And a Shed Long for the Mariners to 299. How does it seem like, minus like the Rays? Have a lot of teams been kind of around the average 500? I mean, I know, I'm sure there's a couple of teams that are killing it, but... It's so early in the season still. Andres Galarraga. Mookie to 199. Didn't Minnesota beat up on them yesterday too? I feel like. Michael Brousseau to 300. Is Carlos Correa playing for Minnesota right now still? Then we got Galarraga there for the Rockies. Rockies, that's Eric. And a Rod Carew for the Minnesota Twins. Oh, 
Alright guys, well, this was a pretty quick mixer, right? <laughs> so there you go. So quickly, a little quick little recap there. A couple of the tier 1 boxes. Seth Beer, Brandon Marsh. And then obviously no autographs in the Bowman Chrome. We've got a, nice, a lot of nice first and rookies that will top load colors there. And the three autograph baseballs. Was a nice Freddie Freeman, um, Vladdy Jr., and another Jason Dominguez. So that was pretty sick. But now to give away the two main hits right here, guys. Number one on the list is going to get the Derek Jeter. Number two is going to get the um, Ted Williams. So let's switch scenes. There's the dice roller. There's the customer names. We're going to click roll. It's going to be a five and a five ten times. Top two names get something. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Boom, ten times, ten, ten. I'm gonna have 28 sad people, guys. And Jason K just missing out. Sorry, buddy. Here we go. Chad, coming in at number two, getting the Ted Williams, which I think was definitely valued over six, seven hundred bucks. And Eugene, both from a filler from Fanatics 15. Eugene, that's definitely well over twelve, thirteen hundred dollar Derek Jeter there, man. So there you go. So Eugene's gonna get the Jeter. Chad is gonna get the uh, Ted Williams. And there you go, guys. That was the mixer there. So appreciate it, folks. We'll do another one of these soon, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.